Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk just called in. Hi, Mike. Hey, Dan. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Did McLovin just go, buddy, Ryan, Chris Carter, all Tyler Eifert does is catch touchdowns? Did I hear that correctly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well played. What do you think of his case? I don't know what his case is, but what do you think of it, Mike? Since well, you- look, I mean, Rob Gronkowski, I think, is one of the big reasons this team has been successful in recent years. Look at what they've done without him or what they've not done without him. 2011 in the Super Bowl against the Giants, Super Bowl 46, he had a bad ankle. They weren't able to get it done. 2013, he tore the ACL late in the year. They weren't able to get it done in the AFC Championship. Last year, he was healthy. What they do? They won the Super Bowl. And this year... The one game they missed, that they didn't have Gronkowski, the Philadelphia game. Tom Brady averaged 5.6 yards per pass, his lowest of the season by far. He didn't have Gronkowski, and he was a different guy without Gronkowski. And I think Gronkowski's a guy that anywhere you put him, anywhere he goes, he's going to elevate the offense, he's going to get his numbers, he's going to get his catches, he's going to be a difference maker. And the only reason that he lasted as long as he did in the draft back in 2010 was because he had back surgery at Arizona. Otherwise, he would have been a surefire first-round pick, and he never would have been on the Patriots. They benefited from that injury, and they got the most out of this guy, and other teams would have gotten a lot out of him as well. McLovin, your chance. I totally agree. He's unbelievably valuable to the Patriots, and they're relying upon him. But two questions, Mike. Were you, were you optimistic that Jimmy Graham was going to be a missing piece in Seattle? And... You know, his, his shortcomings pointed out that tight ends are system dependent. And secondly, has any former Tom Brady target done anything for any other team? Or has every one of them gone down in production? Well, look, I, I thought that, that Jimmy Graham would be great in Seattle because they gave up a first-round pick to get him. And I assumed they were going to use him the way they used him in New Orleans. Instead, they said, hey, Jimmy Graham, go block. And, you know, we're not going to use you like the Saints did. We're going to use you our way, and you're only going to catch the ball you know, uh, a fraction of the time you did in New Orleans, and we're going to have you block, and, and you're just going to have to deal with it. And the irony is, when they finally started using him the right way, he tore his patella tendon, and he's out for the year. That game against Pittsburgh, Russell Wilson finally realized that a guy like Jimmy Graham, even if he doesn't look like he's open, he's still open. Throw him the ball anyway. And that, that was the thing that Russell Wilson had to come to terms with, and that's what makes a Gronkowski and a Graham great. Even if it doesn't look like they're open, they're still open. Graham's got the wingspan to go get the ball. Gronkowski's got the brute force to outmuscle whoever's trying to cover him. That's what makes those guys who they are, and that's what makes up for bad quarterback play. All it has to be is close, and these guys are going to catch the ball. And that's why I think either guy, if used the right way, either guy is going to have a tremendous numbers. All right, Mike, who, before I let you go, who is your MVNQ, most valuable non-quarterback? Oh, it's got to be Gronk. It's got to be. I mean, you look at what happened to the Patriots the one week they didn't have him. And I, I didn't believe that they, they'd suffer without Gronkowski. I thought Tom Brady would find a way to work around it, and it just didn't happen. So Gronkowski. Where is Odell Beckham on that list? He's pretty high up on that list. I mean, you consider all the Giants have are Eli Manning and Odell Beckham. Think about that. The other yeah. 51 guys, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and they're, they're, they're in playoff contention with two great players and, and a bunch of interchangeable parts. Thank you, Mike. All right, bud. All right, Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk.